Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 105. And today we're going to be covering the very basics of the color box module. Most of you, or at least many of you, may be familiar with this module already. And so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I'm going to go over just the basics for those of you who haven't heard of it or are using some other type of lightbox plugin or some other type of Drupal module to handle your modal dialog type windows. And what the color box module is really good at is displaying images inside the uh, basically a light box on your Drupal site. So one of the main uses I use it for is along with Drupal Commerce and displaying product images. It also can be used for slideshows, things like that. I'm going to go over just the basics and how it integrates in with the core image module. And we'll also discuss a little bit how it can be integrated in with views and that type of thing. There are other screencasts on this that go into more detail. I haven't watched them, but I'm sure they can at least get you started or continue along the path if you do want to learn more about this module. There's also some documentation here which talks about installing the module. It's a little bit more complicated of an install. You have to install the module and the plugin, so you'll need the libraries module as well if you're using the Drupal 7 version and you'll have to install the jQuery plugin in the Sites All Libraries directory. So before we get started, as always, I'm Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also go to codekarate.com, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already. And today, we're getting sponsored by Drupalize.me. You should definitely go to Drupalize.me and check it out, especially if you're interested in learning more about Drupal. Drupalize.me is a whole bunch of really, really well put together Drupal videos from the very basics to the very advanced type topics. So whether you want to learn about scaling Drupal or whether you want to learn how to build a Drupal view, go ahead and check them out. Use the code you see here, CK20FEB, and you get 20% off anything you purchase at Drupalize.me. So go check them out and let them know that you appreciate them sponsoring the Daily Dose of Drupal. I certainly do. We're going to go ahead and get started. I already have the color box module installed and I have the plugin, the jQuery plugin, also installed. So we're pretty much ready to go. You can see there's a con some configuration options. Some of these extra features are very handy, such as enable color box load. This enables you to use custom links to open forms and paths in a color box. So you simply use color box load as a class on the link and then you put together a URL like this and when you click on that link it will then automatically load that inside of a color box. You can also use color box inline and it allows you to open inline content in a color box. You just use the color box inline class. So these two are handy, especially if you want to go outside the basics of what color box can do and allow it to be more flexible. There's a couple different styles, which is nice. You can have different styles right out of the right after a fresh install of the color box module. You can also add your own, and there's some instructions, I believe, in the documentation and in the readme file on how to create your own color box style. And of course you can do a lot with just CSS as well so you can make some of the changes just through CSS. You can allow custom options so it's very configurable. You can have change a whole bunch of information about how it's displayed when you click on something to, that triggers a color box pop-up and there's some other advanced settings such as hiding it on specific pages and what type of compression level. Obviously if you're in development you can uncompress it but on production sites you want to keep that in the minified version. So that's all the configuration options. Another thing you're going to want to check is, this is probably before you even start configuring the site, is make sure that the color box jQuery plugin is installed and the color box module recognizes that it's there because obviously without this plugin it's, the color box module isn't going to work correctly. So while that loads I'm going to go ahead and show you a content type we created in the last video that happens to have it is using the conditional fields module but it has an image field and that's going to be good enough for us to get started. As you can see in the status report there's a color box plugin section Make sure that shows up in green and not in red, and you should be good to go. 
So I created this simple content type with just a picture. It says favorite vegetable, but if you watched yesterday's video, you'll understand that I was just demonstrating how to use an image field with the conditional fields module. Simply an image has been uploaded to this content type, but what I want this to be is display perhaps a thumbnail and when clicked display the full size image in a light box or at least a much larger image. This can easily be done using the manage display tab on the content type. Obviously the manage fields tab has the actual image itself. The manage display tab allows you to set the format to color box. Inside the color box settings you can go ahead and say the content image style so we can set it as a thumbnail. This is how it's going to originally display as well as the color box image style so I could set this as a medium or a large image or leave it at the original. I'll select large here. You can say how you would like them to group and group the images into a gallery so it can be per post, per page, per field so we'll leave it per, per post and you can have the caption be alt text, title text, or automatic. So I'll go ahead and set that. And now I will refresh this page. You can see we have a nice thumbnail image. And when I click it, it for some reason didn't want to load the color box. Let me flush the caches here. There we go. Just had to clear the cache after I installed the module and configured it for the first time. A hard refresh of the page probably would have done the trick as well. But you'll notice as I click this, it brings up the image, has a caption if I hover over it, which is just the caption pulled, I guess, from the title of the node. One thing we can try here is in this manage fields for this test content type, I'm going to allow multiple images to be uploaded here and show you how they can then be grouped together into a gallery. Number of values I'll select. I'll just go ahead and select unlimited. I'll just upload a couple. Now when I come back to this content, I'll upload a few more images. And I will save this. Now you can see that they show up. They all show up as thumbnails, but when I click on it, you'll notice that now I have, it says one of three. I can simply flip through the images and I now have an image gallery. So you can see it's incredibly easy to just get the color box module working with the core Drupal 7 image module. Works pretty much out of the box. There's just a nice display formatter option on the field. It also works great with views, so if you do have a view where you're displaying an image, you can do the same basic settings that you saw on the actual managed display. It's very similar, of course you're using the views interface instead of this, but you'll be able to set a lot of these same options, and you'll be able to configure it so when you have a view that displays an image, you can allow that to also show up in a color box. Go ahead and check out the other documentation on the Colorbox Drupal.org page for more information and it also lists modules that have built in support for Colorbox and a bunch of other cool things. So go ahead and check that out. The Colorbox module is just one of many of these type of modules. It's the one that I use the most. So go ahead and give it a try if you haven't already and see which one you like best. Let me know in the comments or find a way to contact me and we can have a discussion about the best Lightbox plugins for Drupal. Thanks again to Drupalize.me for sponsoring this episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal, and thank all of you for watching. See you next time.